Motion primitives are an effective way to simplify kinodynamic planning. They restrict the choice of actions to a discrete set, however in return they eliminate the need to solve dynamic constraints at runtime, allowing for faster planning. This is also good for aggressive behaviors which may push the limits of the vehicle's capabilities. The question remains, what is the best way to generate motion primitives? There are a number of ways to manually design motion primitives, such as recording pilot demonstrations or through optimal control methods. These methods can require significant time and knowledge of the vehicle's dynamics. Additionally, humans may be biased in their design of motion primitives. This work proposes an autonomous framework for learning motion primitives which may replace or supplement motion primitives designed by a human expert. We present a novel extraction algorithm which takes trajectories generated by a learning agent and identifies motion primitives within them. These motion primitives are added to a primitive library which uses them to formulate shaping rewards that are passed back to the learning agent to help with the discovery of even more motion primitives. Here we demonstrate the result of our learning framework. The figures show the cost to go to various goals with a base library of manually designed motion primitives as well as a learned library which adds new motion primitives onto that base library. Clearly there is a significant improvement with the learned motion primitives. This improvement is also demonstrated qualitatively by comparing paths planned with hybrid A-star using the base library and the learned library. The learned library contains much sharper turns to face the goal more quickly and take a more direct route. Here we visualize both trajectories with the goal indicated by a green cylinder. This is the first case where the planner is limited to the base library. In this case, the aircraft only uses steady turns and straight and level flight, as well as transitions between the trim states to reach the goal. This is the second case where the aircraft has the learned primitives available to it, and it uses a much sharper turn to adjust its heading to face the goal and fly more directly to it. Another advantage of this framework is the ability to transfer motion primitives to a new task. Here we demonstrate an improvement to the planner's ability to navigate through a field of obstacles despite the fact that the learning agent was not trained on this task. As with the obstacle-free case, we see significant improvement in the cost to go of the learned library. As before, we plot a comparison of a path generated with the initial library and a path generated with the learned motion primitives. The learned motion primitives are able to use a sharp turn to take a shortcut to the goal, whereas the initial library is forced to take a longer way around to the goal. Like last time, we visualize both trajectories with the obstacles indicated by large gray cylinders and the goal indicated by a green cylinder. In this first case, the aircraft is forced to fly around a far obstacle before being able to face the goal and fly straight to it. In this case, however, the aircraft is able to use a more aggressive maneuver to make a 180 degree turn at the start and fly through a shorter path around the obstacles.